In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Ha, Mim. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the exalted in power, full of wisdom. We created not the heavens and the earth and all between them, but for just ends, and for a term appointed. But those who reject faith turn away from that whereof they are warned. Say, Do ye see what it is ye invoke besides Allah? Show me what it is they have created on earth, or have they a share in the heavens? Bring me a book revealed before this, or any remnant of knowledge ye may have, if ye are telling the truth. And who is more astray than one who invokes, besides Allah, such as will not answer him to the day of judgment? and who in fact are unconscious of their call to them. And when mankind are gathered together at the resurrection, they will be hostile to them and deny that men had worshipped them. When our clear signs are rehearsed to them, the unbelievers say of the truth when it comes to them, This is evident sorcery. Or do they say, He has forged it. Say, Had I forged it, then ye have no power to help me against Allah. He knows best of that whereof ye talk so glibly. Enough is he for a witness between me and you, and he is oft forgiving, most merciful. Say, I am not an innovation among the messengers nor do I know what will be done with me or with you. I follow but that which is revealed to me by inspiration. I am but a warner, open and clear. Say, See ye, if this teaching be from Allah, and ye reject it, and a witness from among the children of Israel testifies to its similarity with earlier scripture, and has believed while ye are arrogant, how unjust ye are truly! Allah guides not a people unjust. The unbelievers say of those who believe, if this message were a good thing, such men would not have gone to it first, before us. And seeing that they guide not themselves thereby, they will say, This is an old falsehood. And before this was the book of Moses as a guide and a mercy and this book confirms it in the Arabic tongue to admonish the unjust and as glad tidings to those who do right. Verily those who say, Our Lord is Allah, and remain firm on that path, on them shall be no fear nor shall they grieve. Such shall be companions of the gardens, dwelling therein for a, a recompense for their good deeds.
We have enjoined on man kindness to his parents. In pain did his mother bear him, and in pain did she give him birth. The carrying of the child to his weaning is a period of thirty months. At length, when he reaches the age of full strength and attains forty years, he says, "O、oh、my Lord, grant me that I may be grateful for Thy favour which Thou has bestowed upon me, and upon both my parents, and that I may work righteousness such as Thou mayest approve." And be gracious to me in my issue. Truly have I turned to thee, and truly do I submit to thee in Islam. Such are they from whom we shall accept the best of their deeds and pass by their ill deeds. They shall be among the companions of the garden, a promise of truth which was made to them in this life. But. There is one who says to his parents, "Fie on you! Do ye hold out the promise to me that I shall be raised up, even though generations have passed before me without rising again?" And they too seek Allah's aid, and rebuke the son. Woe to thee! Have faith, for the promise of Allah is true. But he says, "This is nothing but tales of the ancients." Such are they against whom proved true sentence among the previous generations of jinns and men, that have passed away, for they will be utterly lost. And to all are assigned degrees according to the deeds which they have done, and in order that Allah may recompense their deeds, and no injustice be done to them. And on the day that the unbelievers will be placed before the fire, it will be said to them, "Ye received your good things in the life of the world." And ye took your pleasure out of them, but today shall ye be recompensed with a chastisement of humiliation, for that ye were arrogant on earth without just cause, and that ye ever transgressed. Mention Hud, one of Ad's own brethren. Behold, he warned his people beside the winding sand tracks. But there have been warners before him and after him. Worship ye none other than Allah. Truly, I fear for you the chastisement of a mighty day. They said, "Hast thou come in order to turn us aside from our gods? Then bring upon us the calamity with which thou dost threaten us, if thou art telling the truth." He said, "The knowledge of when it will come is only with Allah. I proclaim to you the mission on which I have been sent." But I see that ye are a people in ignorance.
Then, when they saw a cloud advancing towards their valleys, they said, "This cloud will give us rain." Nay, it is the calamity ye were asking to be hastened, a wind wherein is a grievous chastisement. Everything will it destroy by the command of its Lord. Then, by the morning, they, nothing was to be seen but the ruins of their houses. Thus do we recompense those given to sin. And we had firmly established them in a prosperity and power, which we had not given to you, ye Quarish. And we had endowed them with faculties of hearing, seeing, heart, and intellect. But of no profit to them were their faculties of hearing, sight, heart, and intellect, when they went on rejecting the signs of Allah, and they were completely encircled by that which they used to mock at. We destroyed aforetime towns round about you, and we have shown the signs in various ways, that they may turn to us. Why then was no help forthcoming to them from those whom they worshipped as gods besides Allah, as a means of access to Allah? But that was their falsehood and their invention. Behold, we turned towards thee a company of jinns quietly listening to the Quran. When they stood in the presence thereof, they said, "Listen in silence." When the reading was finished, they returned to their people to warn them. They said, "O、oh, our people, we have heard a book revealed after Moses, confirming what came before it. It guides men to the truth and to a straight path." O、oh, our people. Hearken to the one who invites you to Allah, and believe in Him. He will forgive you your faults and deliver you from a chastisement grievous. If any doth not hearken to the one who invites us to Allah, he cannot escape in the earth, and no protectors can he have besides Allah. Such men are in manifest error. See they not that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and never wearied with their creation, is able to give life to the dead? Yea, verily, he has power over all things. And on the day that the unbelievers will be placed before the fire, they will be asked, "Is this not the truth?" They will say, "Yea, by our Lord." He will say, "Then taste ye the chastisement, for that ye were wont to deny truth." 
Therefore, patiently persevere, as did all messengers of firm resolution. And be in no haste about the unbelievers. On the day that they see the punishment promised them, it will be as if they had not tarried more than an hour in a single day. Thine but to proclaim the message, but shall any be destroyed except those who transgress?